Any band that's been playing for even two years obviously has people to thank. But I think with our fans, there's more than that. I've always personally felt a huge amount of warmth and a kind of uh, humbling support of every move we've made so far and everything that we do. There are massive amounts of time that go into each step of pre-production. There's so much to think about and obsess over a little. Yeah. <laughs> We've essentially done everything we could have done without releasing a formal record. I mean, we've done Live at Squamish, we did Vancouver Folk Fest, we did Reflandia. Our agent would say, it's a bloody miracle you got into even one of these festivals because you shouldn't even be walking onto the stage without a bloody fucking record. So, you know, okay, let's make a record. Um, Colin Stewart contacted us a while ago, um, and it was like, oh my god, Colin Stewart, you know, he's done Cave Singers, Dan Ming, and he, like, he's produced some great records, so, um, we're really excited. <laughs> About $15,000. So our best bet is our fans, right? So we put together this Indiegogo campaign uh, because we want to give our, our fans the, the opportunity to, to help us out if they can. Uh, our goal is $8,000. Hopefully, with your help, we'll be able to achieve that. We've got some pretty far out incentives for the people who choose to contribute. I'm not saying you'd be able to go on a date with the whole band or anything. In a way, Indiegogo is eliminating companies and creating a direct relationship between you and us. We really want to make the best record we possibly can. And we're ready, we're able, but we're going to need the help of the people who got us here. I want to make a record that shows them how far we've come in this time as musicians and as people, and show them that they were right, you know, to believe in us.